from its beginnings, archaeology has sought to answer one fundamental question. When did human civilization begin? Where is the origin of our current way of life? And for a long time, the archaeological community agreed that there were only six societies in the entire world that were capable of generating civilizations in antiquity. Mesopotamia, Egypt, India, China, Mesoamerica, and Peru, and believed that the youngest settlements located in the Americas. However, one discovery made on the Peruvian coast in 1994 would change this theory for all time. Caral Supe, the oldest civilization in the Americas. The city of Caral, capital of one of the world's oldest civilizations, lies in the Supe River Valley, located between the North Central Andes and the Pacific Ocean, and only 182 kilometers from the city of Lima. Ruth Shadi, a Peruvian archaeologist, came to this place in 1994, and there she made one of the most important archaeological discoveries in history. This city was previously designed. Its construction was planned, and this shows us that there was a social hierarchy and a government, as well as an organized labor force. This is something that is demonstrated throughout the entire work and is so well highlighted that visitors can actually see it. 5,000 years ago, when the Sumerian cities in Mesopotamia or the pyramids in Giza in Egypt were being built, here, urban centers like this one at Caral, which would have been one of the most important, were being constructed in this valley and others in the north-central region of Peru. This changes all our known history, because Caral now becomes the main culture, which Julio Sotelo had already identified some decades before in Chavín de Huantar. Now, we know that Chavín de Huántar was a continuation of a much older cultural tradition that would have begun 5,000 years ago. It is enough to visit Caral to have an idea of what the cultural process was that 4,400 years later gave rise to the Inca Empire. The city of Caral was the main administrative center of a collection of 19 populated villages which made up the Caral Supe civilization and even today continues to provide us with new information about South America's oldest civilization. Caral appeared around the year 2900 BC and was the home of a pre-ceramic civilization that based its existence on trade. Initially, it exchanged the cotton it cultivated for products from the sea that came from coastal villages. Little by little, its area of commercial influence grew to include what is today part of Ecuador and even the highland jungle. Evidence of this is the different marine, Andean, and Amazonian products that have been found during the excavation. Fish and shellfish from the coast, 
Ecuadorian shellfish like the spondylus, mollusks and natural plants from the jungle like anato and gourds, and vegetable remains from the highlands like cacti and the yoke tree, as well as birds like the red-billed parakeets and condors. The Caral Supe civilization based its organization on religion. The authorities were high priests and they performed rituals and celebrations to organize the specialized labors of the inhabitants and to maintain social order, something that permitted them a high degree of development. Fire and music were employed in their massive religious ceremonies. There are many special chambers within the city itself designed for keeping fires lit. And archaeologists have also discovered musical instruments made of animal bones that were used in the various rituals. The Caral Supe civilization also stands out for the scientific knowledge that they developed and applied to agricultural techniques, building irrigation canals and agricultural terraces, genetics, textiles, they created clothing and tools for the industry. Natural medicine, they used plants to treat aches and pains. Measurement of time and climactic prediction through astronomical observations. Religious rituals, they controlled fire. And engineering, they built large buildings. The main constructions in Caral are large pyramid-shaped buildings and public plazas where they performed the grand religious ceremonies. The buildings were made of stone and accentuated with decorative paints. Besides the public buildings, there were two distinct types of very large residential districts discovered in Caral. Those which are part of the public buildings that were used by higher status social groups such as public officials and those that are much simpler and located on the edge of the city, probably used by the common citizens who made their living from production. Currently, archaeological work is not finished, and researchers continue excavations at full strength at other archaeological sites found in the Supe River Valley, where the secrets of Caral Supe and of other valleys of north-central Peru continue to be revealed to the world. The majesty and the importance of Caral Supe and other findings in the area make it one of the world's tourist destinations par excellence, particularly due to its proximity to the city of Lima, transportation facilities and access to the region. Caral is unique because of its age. There's nothing remotely like it in all the Americas until 1500 years later. That is the importance of Caral. 
It must become a symbol so that we can consolidate our cultural identity, improve our society's self-esteem, and bring every one of us closer together as participants of just one cultural process, which apart from the cultures and livelihoods, was unique in Peru. This means for us, then, that we should consider ourselves members of one nation, in this case, the Peruvian nation. In Caral, the magic of the past looks us straight in the eye and challenges us to imagine the genius and spirit of the ancient Peruvians. They based themselves on the peaceful activities of trade and religion. In order to rule over the rugged Peruvian coast and wield influence, over a vast geographical area, thus leaving behind a legacy that we have been lucky enough to rediscover. Come to Caral, relive the magic.